Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at what might be the perfect length motorhome. This is not the smallest motorhome, and this is not the biggest motorhome. It is right smack in the middle. This is a 2022 Winnebago Spirit Model 26T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Spirit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this 2022 Winnebago Spirit. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. I'm really excited, you guys. We haven't done a Winnebago in a while. Yes. So that's exciting. Also, this is perfect for State National Park. It's the perfect, perfect length. Size. Yes, yes. Andrea, Let's I'm super begin. excited to show everybody. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> Let's begin. Model is Winnebago Spirit 26T. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 27 feet 1 inch. This is the Winnebago Spirit. It is the sister product, the same exact thing to the Winnebago Mini Winnie. Uh, those are called sister products. If you don't know what that means, I have a whole video dedicated to that. Right up here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap, okay? Notice how the cap caps over the side and the rear right here. And I, I call it a brawl, fiberglass front brawl. This does sit on the E450 chassis. It does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is to Godzilla! 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And Andrea, here's what's really nice about this chassis. This is one of the only chat four chassis in the industry that is using the adaptive cruise control. This has all the high tech features that like the Mercedes chassis That's have. That's exciting. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist, all those nice features. We'll show you more on the inside. Right over here, we do have chrome mirrors on the left side and right side with cameras integrated in the side. I mean, look at these tires, Dre, they're the hand cooks. Kind of pros. Very nice, nice shiny rims and everything. Coming on down the side here, we do have a little bit of storage right here. Oh. Yes, ma'am. And then the propane tanks is right here. And Andrea, if somebody wants to see all the propane tanks, bing! We have all the specifications about this motorhome right there, also down in the description below. And then check this out, small motorhome, but we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Andrea, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Wow, very nice power awning with LED lights. And then because this is a Winnebago motorhome, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. Right here we got power and coax on the outside. Water heater. I love how they blended it in with the fiberglass color. Looks great. This is a little unique because this doesn't swing open, which is weird. Is that the generator? Um, there's storage there. I wonder what that is. No, no, no. It's just some tanks and everything. Okay. And then there's more storage right there. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Backup cameras right there. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Wow, that looks like a big stretch there. Yeah, it sure is. And then this is weird. It says do not exceed 225 pounds. Most, all ladders, they, they all say 250. That is strange. We're going up anyway. Hold on. Let's go now. Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Right there, we have openings one, two, three, and four if you want to have max air fans. Right there's your King Air digital antenna, and you can see that it does have the one AC unit. Hold on. Here we go now. Last step. Here we go. 
great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. We do have. Oh, that's good. An okay amount of storage right here. Slide out room controllers. Yes, ma'am. Uh, right here. Oh. More storage. Okay. Right here is where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. And then above there we have our city water connection, cable hookup, gasoline fill up, black tank flush, and your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. Service is going to be your power cord right here. It's going to be some more storage. Okay. And then here is going to be your propane or uh, your generator. It is a Cummins Onan 4000 QG generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. The car goes probably not right there. It's probably gonna be in the inside of the door. Yep. Okay, everybody. Slide is in. Wow, this is interesting. Yes. Okay, so with the slide in, you can see the walkway right here. Mm -hmm. And then it opens up a lot right here. And as you can see, there is the bathroom and then the bed is on a slide and it does appear to have the folding mattress. Yes. And Andrea, while the, uh... oh, I gotta put the emergency brake on. All the slide outs coming out. Oh, uh, we just want to take this moment and thank everybody for watching our show, for the continuous support. We we couldn't do this without you guys, and we love each and every one of you. You guys are amazing, and you keep us going. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and leave your feedback, everybody, because we really, really look forward to reading your comments. Yes. And so does the RV industry. Yes. And they did, so I was watching the video that we did of this one about seven months ago, and they didn't make the interior decor change, but they did make one change that I think is a major win for Winnebago. It's a win for Winnebago. <laughs> Andre, we're starting up here. Okay, so the first things first, last time we did this video, I saw this, but I wasn't sure. Look at this digital screen. This has the adaptive cruise control, the lane assist, and how you can tell is because it's a it's it's the screen right there. It's really nice. This is one of the better chat. This is the best chassis in the RV industry, and I'm not familiar with anybody else using this chassis. Um, right here we have all our buttons, everything right there, power mirrors. Right here we have the screen. It has Apple CarPlay, radio and everything else. Three cup holders. Yes. And Andrea, how's it feel? Oh. It's very comfortable, but I'm going to put the cargo down here. 1390. No. Th no. That's kilograms. Hold on. It's 3065 it? pounds right above your finger. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, yes. it tricked me. Wow. 3065. Yes, that's That's really good. It's one of the advantages of wow. having the E450 on a smaller motorhome. Yes, it's comfortable. Um, the only thing is, is I can't really put my seat too much. Oh yeah, yeah, yes you can. We'll try to put it back yeah, some. Yeah, I for this does move. Doesn't yeah, recline it? it. Okay. Let's see. I mean, oh. the concepts there, oh. but I mean, or wait, 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 no, no, no. Try to move your seat up. We're gonna figure this out. Yes, we have to know. This is important. Okay. All right, let's see. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, that's a lot more comfortable than then, it was. Then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Cool. Good to know. Very nice. And then that's the screen. And then we do I have like a bunk that. over the cab, okay? All right. Now, first, the TV's right here. And then look at this. It is, oh, love this. It's, you know, I hate the TV placement, but at least it's on an arm with a bracket to both angle the TV, you know what I'm saying? Which is really, really nice. Right up here, we do have a bunk over the cab. Holds 500 pounds. 
Okay. Very nice. They give you a window there. That's nice. And you also have the privacy curtain. It does come with a ladder. Yes, yes. And I forgot to mention that TV right there does have the Sony DVD player. Then right over here is your dinette, okay? That's a sofa, honey. Then right over here is your sofa. Right here you can see that you do have the MCD privacy shades. Again, going with the DIY look, I was really hoping that Winnebago would um, be going away from this for 2022. Now, here's what I will say respectively. In this motorhome, it looks good, the, the DIY look. I just don't... What I'm saying when I don't like it, in every Single Class C one. and Class A, they're doing the same look. No different than Jayco Towables doing the farmhouse in every look. Right. And I, and, and I love the farmhouse, but don't do it in every brand. There's nothing that really differentiates... Ugh, how do you say it? There's nothing different from the base model to the high-end model of Winnebago's burr, 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 burr. because they all have the same look. Yes, and yes. it's... You know, a Denali, oh man, I got a great one. A Denali is no better truck than a Sierra SL. Right. It's that trim, that's what you're paying for. It's still the F1, it's still the 1500, you know what I'm saying? Good job, Andre, I really like that. Right here we do have nice cabinetry, Winnebago quality, the double struts, you know what I'm saying? Like the quality's there, you know? And then this does check like, to make a bed that looks like um it's a little bit more difficult okay yep right there it looks a little strange to me that sofa it does it does i think we said this last time um it, it was the arms no arms yeah i need arms i need to put my yeah arm. definitely but he, this is what i do love oh a yes very nice big u-shaped dinette very big and comfortable we'd have to sit this way <laughs> but still I'd be sitting here with a laptop, have a nice window right there. Very comfortable. This does drop down to make an adult size bed. Uh, and it's just really, really nice. And we do have storage right above. And Matt, what kind of, uh, did they give us blinds or shades? It was the MCD privacy blind. Oh, awesome. Yes. And then there is a little cubby up there as well. Yes, ma'am. And I did not see leveling whatsoever. Um, I don't think there's any leveling. Open that. Yep. Oh, look at that. Very. Sorry, adjustable shelves. It's a good cabinet. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is... I didn't take a picture of the MSRP, but I do know it. It's 134,000 something something and something dollars <laughs> that you can see right there. The The main part was it's $134,000 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, right now we're not currently advertising sale price because the RV market's so volatile right now that this video, this unit, three months from now, six months from now, from now, a week a year from now, from now, two weeks. It's all going to be different pricing. But Andrea, we do have sale pricing. And if somebody's interested in this unit, we can get them the best price in America or we can schedule them a time to come see this in Ocala because this is a show unit, a floor plan unit, and then they can order one off of this. The whole point is, Andrea, if somebody wants to get the best price in America, tell everyone how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV where somebody from my team will, you'll fill out the Matcast form and they will get you the best price in America. If you not ready to buy this motorhome click tab number two that sends an email to both will and myself and we're here to answer questions for you tab number one's for buying two's for questions or if you're not looking to buy at all and you just want to communicate with us click that third tab and andrea it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three two or one it doesn't matter if somebody works with our internet team or if they bring in their mat cash coupon into one of our 13 locations 
What's the one thing they will always get? They'll get the best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. Yes. All right, so here we have a two-way refrigerator. Runs off your propane and shore power. Okay. And then it looks like they give you a good size pantry. Look, yes. I love these. This Very to me nice. is a big deal. Yes. I love that. All right, over here, I feel like I'm going backwards today. Over here we have the microwave. Okay. Then we got a three burner cooktop, propane. Suburban. And you got an oven. Oh man, check that out. Okay, so we got a drawer down here. Okay. A cabinet up here, the yes, shelf. Okay, look at this. This is crazy. Yes. You get a huge round sink. Look at that. That's good for a crock pot. It is. It is. You know, I'm just thinking maybe the sink could have been smaller, more counter space. Yep, yep. Um, they gave you an extension. And you got another cabinet for a trash can also nice solid surface yes this, i was about to comment this is really pretty countertop yes electrical outlet we got four drawers there really good size and if you don't have enough counter space look at that a little flip up yeah definitely helps out it does and it still makes it possible to walk through on both sides absolutely and you have a cabinet over here with oh, another wow. drawer look oh wow Hit oh it. wow Hit that it. is impressive okay and then we got over here let's see okay so you have like a wardrobe right here okay okay and then another drawer very nice and you got the step up mat and look they gave you a pocket door here love the actual door yes gives you really nice separation yes you want me to open this yes all right so coming into the bedroom we have another wardrobe this would be more bedroom wardrobe space wow but look it at does that. convert if you need it to be part of the kitchen space okay right there right over here andrea is your bedroom again with the mcd privacy shades bed flips up there's the ladder for the bunk bed. The cab. yes we have a nice headboard there and then look at this power and usb on this side yes power and usb on that side yes and i like that they gave you you know you do have some sort of a nightstand here yes we do have storage above if you want to grab that one for me very nice double storage nice and window. nice window and the tv nicely placed in the corner i actually really do like that that's a good placement it is it is a good placement and if you look here look again at the door that's interesting matt look yes. you see how it's squared off right here yes okay but right here a lot of times when i'm in these 26 footers 27 footers it's really tight and this one's tight as well but it's really not that bad we've had a lot worse situations here and then as andrea commented look at this door I really like how they do it like this. This way. Oh yeah, let me see that one more yep. time. Close that. Yeah, come on in, step in the shower. Okay. We will just redo it again. Yeah. Cause check this out, right? It slides this way and then, you know what I'm saying? And you, it, yeah. And you know what? I am gonna comment because a lot of times on doors, I see a big opening at the bottom. Right. And I don't see a real big opening there. So I feel like, you know, there's more privacy. Yes, yes. They did a really good job, uh, especially for a smaller bathroom. Okay. Making the door maneuverable like that makes it, makes a small bathroom a lot bigger. Yes. And then here's the shower. Again, I don't hate the shower. Not this a is a, door. It's a really nice shower. Uh, you know, a lot mm. of times there's a lot of compromises that we're making, but you know, for the size of this motorhome, it's really nice. We got a cabinet here. Yes, ma'am. We got another one over here. Look at this. Very nice. Okay, so you got a cute little square rectangle sink and a cabinet under there. Oh, man. And it looks like the toilet's on a pedestal. Yes, pedestal toilet, but it's not a high toilet, okay? Oh, oh no. Womp womp. No, they did it again. Plastic. But it looked porcelain when I was walking. It did it. look like it. I thought Yeah, it's thing. like a shiny plastic. I thought. <sighs> so it looks like they didn't change much of anything from 2021. Um, well, what's that saying? You, you, you eat the meal that you made or something like that? I have no idea. I don't know either. <laughs> well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys. Absolutely everybody so much for watching. Now, before everybody leaves, 
It's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andreo, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. No, let's do likes. Okay. Because, because... You have the likes already? Um, because I have more dislikes than likes. Okay, well, so, I'll go first for likes. Tell me what you like. Um, tell me what you like, <laughs> what you really, really like. All right, so I, I will say that I love the U-shaped dinette in here. Yes. Um, yes. I, I'm a big fan of it anyways. So. We love the U-shaped dinettes. Yes. Lots and, of room and just, you know, it's fun to be around with the family. Everybody can fit and it's just awesome. Yep. That's number one. Yes. Number two, Andre, is going to be the chassis. The, the fact that Winnebago, you know, did spend a little bit of extra money to get you the better chassis. It's really nice. The adaptive cruise control, the lane assist. Um, my opinion is Winnebago doesn't market it well enough. Uh, so that everybody knows what they're doing that again Thor Integra Jayco Forest River nobody else is using uh, the upgraded 450 chassis so that's a benefit so that's two and then number three Andrea I will say this do you have a strong number three um I will say I I like the storage in here okay we can inside say that. I mean the, the yeah, outside. The cabinetry is yeah. always really good at Winnebago. Yep. And I, there's a lot of wardrobes that I'm seeing in pantry and a closet here. And it just, you know, and with that cargo carrying capacity. Yeah. So, so here's how we're going to combo that. We're going to say one of the smartest interior designs, the layouts, the bathroom, the storage, cramming a separate living room to a separate bedroom, cramming it all in 27 feet, one inch. I think they did a very, very smart design. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Andrea, you're yes, raising your, you're raising I, I your hand. I go first. Go before ahead. Before I forget, because sometimes I do. I know, I know. This, 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 no. What? This is no. This, no. I'm sorry. I just can't. No. I can't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. Uh, come on, guys. I know you can do better. Yes. You know. And they, Winnebago normally does better. And they do. And, and with this being a higher end Class E. Yes. Yeah. That's my dislike, and no. I stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, Andrea. I have to give it to the toilet again. Uh, the fact of the matter is, we made a vi this video seven months ago, and we commented, and you guys, the RV review crew, and this is what we're gonna start doing from now on. So now that we're getting into our second go around of units, we're going back and watching the videos. Yes. And you guys all commented, um, pour some toilet. Yes. And the price point of this motorhome, you're at 134,000. What's 134,200? For a porcelain toilet. It's not only that, it's a higher end class C. Not only that, the cargo carrying capacity is 3,066 yes. pounds. What's 3,046 pounds? Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I totally agree. <laughs> get the, get yeah. the toilet? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so People funny. People are gonna think we're crazy. People do think we're crazy. Okay. And if you don't get the third dislike, I bet you I have it. Tell me the third dislike, Andrea. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say, well, you probably were gonna say the ladder. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm the outside components. Yes. yes. Well, I'm gonna combo at one with the twisty doors. Oh, we do not like the yeah, twisty doors, yeah. but. I was gonna say, you know, this. Tell the me about it. The outside components. The I, would, I would love to see them enclosed. Again. Or a, inside or a cover over them that people, you know, they're not exposed. Now check this out again. The, um, hang on a second. Oh. No, no, I, I want you to do something after this. Again, when, when we did the video of the East, oh my God. Oh. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh my oh. God, it's oh. alien. <laughs> oh. You're okay. so freaked out. They, they freaked me out so bad. Oh my God. Oh, that's scary. Oh. Okay. So again, if this is a sub hundred thousand dollar motorhome, we don't care if that's exposed. But when right. you're spending this type of money, you do want some of the finer things. Yes, so, absolutely. So so give it a no. A no! No, 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 you gotta smit. No. <laughs> no. No. Well, Andrea, let's go over on yes. this side. Oh my god. Away from the you alien can't frog. Squish the um, frog when right. you put the slide in. You know, oh. that, that does happen a lot, but I'll oh. get a stick. 
Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions on this Winnebago Spirit, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a nice 27 foot medium sized motorhome in a few seconds, we're gonna put its competitors right here and here for you to check out. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments, you guys. So make sure you uh, leave feedback because we do want to change things, you know, in the future with RVs. Yeah. Um. I'm just speechless after this review. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Make sure you guys leave your comments, yeah. smash that thumbs up button, and subscribe. Yeah, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank Thanks you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.